Hi, this is Brad Yeager with your weekly grain market update for the week ending Friday, August 9th. Corn futures and soybean futures were down this week, while wheat futures were up slightly. Grain markets have been stagnant as we await more details about crop size and yield potential and possible export demand. Monday afternoon, the USDA estimated corn conditions at 67% good to excellent, which was down one point from the previous week and soybean conditions were at 68% good to excellent, up 1% from the week prior. Wisconsin corn conditions were down 1% to 61% good to excellent, and soybeans were steady at 60%, both higher than last year, but reflecting the whole state more so than our area. Corn has been flat to lower lately as private estimates for yield continue to creep higher. Some agencies are noting that the cooler and wetter weather, if it comes to fruition, could push yields even higher than the already high trendline yield numbers that the USDA and others are using. Export for, exports for corn have picked up lately, and the price has U.S. exports competitive on the global market again. This is not the case for soybeans, as soybeans face the same high yield potential across the Midwest this year. Wheat has had a few bounces after the big drop, as it should be getting closer to being competitive globally. Crop estimates in France keep dropping as they get excessive rains. Rallies will be difficult to sustain until exports really begin to be announced. Looking ahead, next Monday, August 12th, is the monthly USDA report, where they will give their first update to yields based off the growing season this year. Give your local merchandiser a call to contract or put offers in or with any questions you may have. Thank you for listening to this week's market recap from Country Visions and have a good weekend.